If you want to compare two different objects, then you need to override the equals and hash code methods within your model class. Let's also look at a more complex example. Here you also need to compare then all the different fields within the equals and hash code methods to check the equality of two objects. If you write this code manually every time, this takes a lot of time. Instead, we can make use of Equatable, which is handling all of these comparisons almost automatically for us. On the other hand, if you compare two objects without overriding the equals and hash code method, then by default this comparison is returning false. And within the source code you see that we have here Sarah 1 and Sarah 2 and they look the same from their values. However, if we compare them, it is returning false because we have not overridden the equals and hash code methods. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with the comparison of two objects without overriding the equals and hash code methods. And in both cases, if our users are equals and also if they are not equals, it will always say that they are not equals if we are not overriding the equals and hash code method. Therefore, I have created here a normal user object with two fields, the name and the URL image. And this is basically the image which is here displayed in front. And now we want to create here two user objects and therefore I have created a method create Sarah and this is then creating the name and also this image which you see here on the left side. In our build method I simply created then a Sarah object and a Sarah object too which are then two different instances and if we compare these both instances they return false by default. Now we want to integrate the equals and hash code method within our user class. And therefore you need to compare here each of these fields within the equals method and also within the hash code method. And this can take a lot of time if you need to write this equals and hash code method every time manually. In our build method we created again two Sarah objects and we compare them. And here it this time returns true and therefore the equality of these both are true. And we also can check here the equality of another user. So I create here a user object James. And therefore I create within this build method this James object and I simply compare Sarah against James. And then I also display here this field in our UI which is returning false because Sarah and James are not equal. So all in all you could override here the equals and hash code methods to compare two objects with each other and this is also working fine. However, we want to look right now at a better way so that we don't need to write these two methods manually. And therefore we want to make use of the package equatable. And with this package you don't need to explicitly override the hash code and equals method. To use equatable is pretty simple. So we simply go to our user object and we make it extendable from this equatable. And secondly you need to override a method which is called props. And here you need to put then all the fields of your object inside. So in our case we have only two fields, however if you have more fields then you need to put them here comma separated inside. And secondly you need to go to your pubspec jaml file and here you need to add this equatable under your dependencies inside. And with this we can do now the same comparisons which we did before with the manual way. So we compare here first of all the Sarah object with another Sarah object and like you can see these are equal. And if we compare Sarah with James you see they are not equal. Let's go back to our user class and sometimes your class which you want to compare is already extending something. And therefore you also can for example put here this with equatable mixin inside and then you can extend your object from your object what you like to put here inside. So simply put here your object inside which is extending your class and this is also working here fine with this mixin then. And lastly sometimes you also want to override the to string method and this is also pretty easily done. You simply go here inside of this class and then you override this stringify method and here you set it to true. And with this it will override our to string method with all the fields which we have here within our class. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!